Hello everyone, welcome back or welcome if you are new to my channel. Today is Friday, so happy Friday, happy weekend. Um, I am back with a new video. Um, in this video, I am going to be doing like an update video for my non-terraforming island rosewood and i'm just going to chit chat with you guys and just give you guys i guess like a life update like a personal life update um like where i've been what i've been doing because i have missed quite a bit of days in my posting schedule um, so let's start off with that first. So last week, I, I think you could hear this um, in my voiceover in my last video where I was really congested. So last week, um, me and my whole family, we've, we were dealing with um, allergies. And then after that, or maybe like in the mix of it, really, um, we were also dealing with a cold. And I think it really does have to do with the weather <laughs> so where i live um in california the weather has been very wonky and very bipolar um so there will be days where it'll be warm like in the 70s warm and then there'll be days where it'll be in the 60s and then it'll just fluctuate and going back and forth from the 70s to the 60s um right now when i'm making this video and i'm doing this voiceover it's 54 degrees <laughs> and it rained earlier in the day um so definitely i feel like we've been dealing with you know like getting sick with the weather change and all that so there was that and then last weekend me my husband and my daughter we got food poisoning um at first i did not want to think or believe that i got food poisoning because you know in general it's never really a good idea to you know like self-diagnose you but we had a lot of symptoms pointing to food poisoning and you know like one of them was you know throwing up TMI but you know like throwing up and not really being able to keep anything down we were super weak um and we just were just completely sick to the stomach and so I know for a fact that we got food poisoning as well because my son didn't get po food poisoning so here's like the little little story of this so Last weekend, um, me and my kids, we went to go visit my mom and my mom like bought us like, like a whole box of pastries from this bakery called Pear Spaghetti. Um, I don't think my mom got sick, <laughs> um, which is wild. Um, but so we had those uh, pastries and I brought some home um, and my husband had some. My daughter had some, I had some, my son, not really. My son is very picky, you guys, very picky. So he was just not keen on wanting to try, you know, like new things that he didn't think would be good. Um, so me and my husband and my daughter, we got food poisoning and my son was okay. That's kind of like how I figured and knew that we had food poisoning um, because my son didn't really eat that much and then also my mom didn't really have as much pastries either so you know yeah <laughs> it's really weird um but also i think me and my um my husband and my daughter we got hit the most is because our diet we've changed our diet drastically like we we kind of eat fairly clean and healthy so you know that kind of like brings that into you know like the aspect of things and how we got sick you know like the most versus my mom and um you know my my son so yeah i just wanted to give you guys that update um i also wanted to give you guys an update on my non-terraforming island uh rosewood so i got three new villagers you saw hugh 
a little while ago and here's bertha i believe you saw um penelope as well a while ago so i got hugh penelope and bertha and it's in that order i am super excited that i got penelope and bertha i've never met penelope before so i'm super happy that i got her i think i met bertha i think maybe in a um mystery island um while i was um doing a villager hunt because she looks familiar to me not because she, you know she's like a blue hippo or anything like that um she just i just feel like i've seen her name before i've seen just her in general so i think i have i have met her before in the past um let's talk about hugh though <laughs> so i have hugh in my um town in wild world in animal crossing wild world and let me tell you his personality and just the way that he is in wild world is completely different than in new horizons i don't know why they did that but they did um so i like hugh um in the past so i like him like his personality and everything in wild world and you know, like in the past game but his new personality and just the way that he talks like they have him speak and everything it's just weird so what i mean by that is i think a few days ago he gave me a diy recipe and he was like oh i created this um diy recipe because um the bugs in my floor told me about this recipe something within that context it's not exact but something within those lines right and i actually don't like the villagers that claim they talk to like bugs in the floors and they have like friends <laughs> that are bugs in their houses i just feel like um they're very creepy to me but that's just me personally like i just get a creepy vibe from that and i also have like another experience from this <laughs> um so in my other island my butterfly island i had a villager his name was nate he was a bear he had like a green unibrow if you know who i'm talking about wow. then you know <laughs> if you know you know right um and he was very like weird and creepy as well and he said that he had like bugs that he talked to or he had friends that were bugs that he talked to in his house in the floor <laughs> and that was like a red flag for me um and then i would not talk to him because he was personally my least favorite villager at the time um on butterfly um and when he when i would talk to him i think maybe like a week later or two weeks later he would tell me like oh i've been trying to look for you like you've i, I just couldn't find you and then he said oh yeah there were like three days or so where i would just stand outside your house waiting for you and i was like nope and he was actually pretty stubborn he did not want to leave my island on butterfly by the way um before i just decided to get rid of him with like i think someone on my camp in my campsite like i just took a random villager um like that was in my campsite when i had him because i was like i gotta get him out <laughs> because i didn't like it, it was, those were just red flags for me it was too creepy and i was kind of sad that they kind of made hugh creepy a little bit um in new horizons because there's nothing wrong with hugh whatsoever aside from that little creepy vibe <laughs> i i just i can't deal with the villagers that you know um talk to bugs in the floor <laughs> but that's just me um that's like a little silly thing that i wanted to um share with you guys um so with that being said um if uh hugh wants to leave my island whenever it'll be he can leave my island i'm okay with that um actually i have someone else 
on my island. He's a monkey. I totally am spacing out on his name. I do apologize on that. Sometimes I just can't remember um, like certain villagers' names, especially if I don't really... I wouldn't say I don't really like them, but I'm not like too wild for them, you know what I mean? I mean, unless it's Nate. I'll never forget Nate <laughs> and how he spoke to me. Um, but anyway, I do have a monkey villager. I had him before um, in the beginning, like way back when, um, when this game came out. And, you know, like me and my husband at the time, we had like an island together. We had just one um, Animal Crossing New Horizons game when this game came out. And he's okay. I have nothing against him. He's just, you know, like a fitness monkey. He likes fitness um, and lifting weights. I would actually, like, I don't care for the um, the fitness villagers, actually. Um, I would rather, <laughs> I would much rather have them than the ones that talk to bugs in the, f in the floor of their homes, to be honest with you. But I wouldn't be sad, I guess you could say. Um, if he decides to leave, I will be very happy, to be honest with you, when he decides to leave, um, because I just, I don't know, I just, it's, it just gives me creepy vibes, and whenever I say hi to him, I'm, like, super happy to say hi to him, um, but it's just in the back of my head, and I'm just like, oh no, <laughs> why do they do that? I kind of wished that, um... They had like more personalities, you know, like villager personalities, because, you know, like comparing New Horizons and, you know, past Animal Crossing games, I feel like um, villagers in the past Animal Crossing games and even in the Animal Crossing pocket camp, you know, like the phone game, they have a lot more personality um, than the villagers in New Horizons, which... I feel like isn't completely fair because it kind of like they kind of like copy and pasted if you know what I mean and just had like everyone for example that are fitness or into lifting weights they just have like the same dialogue that's what I mean so I felt like that kind of came short for New Horizons well I mean there's a lot of things that <laughs> <laughs> that the uh, creators of Animal Crossing didn't give us in New Horizons. Um, I, I did understand that they wanted to keep this game, you know, like different and separate from, you know, like past Animal Crossing um, games. But definitely, though, I feel like they still could have added certain aspects that, you know, like we all wanted <laughs> um, to have in, you know, New Horizons. But, you know it's okay <laughs> um but yeah so i just went off on a little tangent but i hope you guys enjoyed this video we have like a couple more minutes left of this video actually but i think i might just um like stop talking <laughs> and let you guys enjoy some um like gameplay um for my uh island rosewood i almost said emerald <laughs> it's gonna be tricky for me to like go back and forth from um emerald to rosewood because there are times where i do forget that i have a second island now which okay before i actually let you guys go um it's gonna be kind of i wouldn't say like hard or difficult but i've been thinking about this um, it is a lot easier for me to create like speed builds for um, my island emerald because I am um, like time traveling and everything for emerald whereas rosewood it's going to be a little bit difficult because I'm not like I'm on hard mode. So if you guys don't know, um, my non-terraforming island, Rosewood, um, I'm doing hard mode. I'm not like going to uh, the treasure islands. I'm not time traveling. I'm not getting like outside help from friends or whatever. I'm literally playing this um, copy of Animal Crossing New Horizons as it was intended. You know, like just going through the game, you know, logging in every day 
not time traveling which i mean you i mean you could <laughs> if you're just you know playing this game as it was intended but yeah like someone created like a hard mode i guess quote unquote hard mode which i don't really like because there i know there are quite a bit of people that play like this um but i just decided to do it because i am still very much in my um you know animal crossing burnout which i'll probably talk in a few future video um i i did this so that way i can kind of get out of my burnout um because playing the way that i usually play especially on emerald time traveling going to treasure islands and you know like just speeding through the game it can burn you out so i think that's why i got the burnout really so yeah i just figured to really enjoy this game as it was intended and, I'm, and so far i have been actually enjoying this game and to be honest with you when i'm not making any videos like speed build videos speed build vi speed build videos oh my goodness i'm talking way too fast for me um on my island emerald i'm logging in every day and kind of treating it as you know like this island so i've been enjoying just logging in and just you know taking my time not speeding through the game um well i was going with something with that so anyway um i don't know how to make videos for um rosewood i think that's why i haven't um like really been making or trying to make any videos for this um island because well i mean i'm not even i don't even have i didn't have kk slider go to my island yet um but maybe it'll i'll have like more ideas and how i want to make videos for this island after that point like when i get like the paths and the terraforming unlocked which i'm not gonna terraform <laughs> but you know like the paths i will use the paths you know in certain designs to kind of like customize my island so maybe at, after that point i'll figure out how i want to make videos for rosewood because i do want to showcase my my progress for um you know this island but i also don't want it to be kind of boring i guess you could say as a creator a content creator i um I'm, i am always worried if my content is boring or if it's interesting you know that's just like anyone like who creates content on social media like that's anyone's worry but you know you know what i mean but anyway if you liked this video please give this video a big thumbs up liking my videos really helps out my channel it helps out my engagement for my channel so like this video comment down below if you did as well i love engaging with you guys in the comment section as well if i don't personally comment back i will like and heart your comment so engage with me i love engaging with you guys um also if you haven't yet or if you are new please consider subscribing before you leave your love and your support really means a lot to me i really want to get to 1000 subscribers by the end of this year so if you haven't yet go down below hit the subscribe button turn it great smash it let's get it um also i do post or try to <laughs> that's the key word um i do try to post every monday friday and saturday i don't have a set schedule i mean a set time i have a set schedule but i don't have a set time because hashtag mom life um i do get these videos out when i have the chance and when i have the time the spare time i mean so have your notification bell turned on so that way you guys are notified when my videos do go up on my posting schedule whatever time that may be so without further ado i will let you guys go um happy friday again i will see you guys tomorrow for my stardew saturdays series so i will see you guys tomorrow bye guys